Okay, well, welcome back. Welcome back to Nightingale. First of all, I've this whole idea of not putting levels on a leveling system based game is making me pull my hair out. So, let me explain. So, we needed to get a certain card. We can't do that just yet. I th I'm pretty sure it's like one of the last things we do. Um, we need the Astrolobe card, which we're at the Astrolobe site. Um, once we do that, we can start jumping from Astrolobe sites, portals. Um, Provisioner is going to be the next one. And then we can do the Herbarium. So, and I'm like pretty sure Herbarium is like... Not end game, but end of early access stuff. So, we're going to jump in to the Astrolabe right now. Or Astrolabe, my, my bad. My apologies. We're going to unlock the Astrolabe card. I know Provisioner is going to give us more of the ability to upgrade our equipment. Which is dust good. Uh, so, once we're done that... Um, we'll be able to upgrade. Hopefully, I'm thinking guns is what, what I'm really looking forward to. Um, there is another Sentinel Knight down here, which is going to be a pain in my ass. But either way, which is real. What what bothers me is that technically I'm only level 30 because if I switch my weapon. I automatically turn, wait, no, no, yeah, so if I change it to my pickaxe, I'm now level 30, but if I change it to my gun, or my cross bolt, I'm 41, so it's very confusing, the leveling system, um, I know why they did it, and it's a very interesting concept, but I still feel like it's a massive pain in my ass. Really? Were you already spawning people? Oh, I fucking hate you. What part of I don't do well with jump scares do you guys not understand? Whoa, you're new. You're very new. You're lucky I fucked with gravity earlier. Yeah, well you're dead now, so... I don't really have to worry about any of that anymore. Um, so like I... Oh, bro, really? You're so weird looking, dude. Just stop. Stop trying. Just stop. Really? Are, are, we, are you serious? I'm gonna die. This is where I die. This is where I die. You son of a bitch. Oh, that is a pain in the ass. That was the first time that it's ever happened. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to go over. Yes, yes, Puck. I know. I have a death curse. Okay, a realm card is no a realm card is no longer affecting the durability. That means the the, the realm card no, the, it didn't reset. No pearly gates for you just yet, my friend. Though this Zephyr would prefer to whisper over your bones. I have tasked it with your preservation. Should you perish, it will whisk you away and revive your spirit. Of course, the Zephyr is tasked only with rescuing you. The contract is very literal about that. Though I have asked it to try to preserve your modesty and what tools it can. However, the disquieting sensation of death will linger afterward. 
So tread warily. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'm also recruiting someone too. So, yeah, let's 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 go. Yep. Uh huh. You're very talkative. Come on in. Let's go. We have to go upstairs where the rest of the assholes are at. I really hope they don't all respawn, but you know, whatever it is. Now, what are we supposed to be doing now? Can't sit. Something to do with this? Oh, man. Seriously. Nope. There's a downstairs, unfortunately. Of course there's a fucking downstairs. There's always a fucking downstairs. <laughs> fucking swords. <laughs> Die, please. Thanks. I refuse to get killed again. The fuck are you going? Oh, that was easy. Yeah, sorry. Not happening. Slapping him. Of course, there's more of you idiots down here. So I'm assuming I have to do some type of interchanging or moving, shifting of this thing. It's either that or I'm just going straight down. Which, I'm assuming that's, that's your straight down right there. Oh, 
of course, and I'm fucking stuck. I mean, that kind of sort of worked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How are you dying so fast? That easy. Either way. Okay, seems like we did something. I need to heal up. Praise the gods of health potions. No. <laughs> Pretty sure Where am I going now? That's just plant fiber. <clears throat> I'm assuming down here. Yep, it's down here. Son of a bitch. So there's nothing else in here that we need to grab or steal or pillage or <clears throat> I sh I'm th truly considering grabbing more NPCs and just moving them here. 
because it's just way too easier. It's way easier, excuse me, me know, me know how how to English. Um, way more easier to <clears throat> use them as meat shields. Um, and then she's only level thirty. So after this cave, or after this mini dungeon, I'm screwed because it goes, uh, the Provisioner is level 40, which technically we can do right now if we really wanted to. Um, provisioner, and then it's the Herbarium, Herborium, <laughs> So, um, actually I want to see if I can do that because I, like I said, with my crossbow I'm technically already level 40 this one was a level 30 level so I might actually be able to just go down there now will I <laughs> no absolutely not um, but while we're here I am going to show you what I have done to my house so we did decide to build more um, I built more of the inside of the house. I'm still working on lighting at the moment. Still working on a few of the lighting lanterns. Um, I need to kill more animals. But um, I'm hopefully thinking I might extend this one more level or I might expand it further. Not 100% sure yet because I don't know if there's like raids or anything in this game. And if I... If I spread myself out too thin, I'm going to lose half of it. That one, that pirate ship is another one. Is another trial. That one, for some odd reason, I thought was... That one's not even showing up because I had an issue where I thought this was that pirate ship. That pirate ship is like right over here-ish. And that has another one of those gates. That's the one over there. And then the one that we're going to be going to next is right here. And it's Provisioner. And yes, it's across the entire freaking island. Um, but if we can craft one of those cards. <gasps> craft one of those cards right now, Al. We should be golden. Da, 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 da. Injury resistant. Oh, I have more T1. I guess I got that from the the bishop. Which, by the way, they're fuck. They're oh, a pain in the butt, dude. Like seriously. Um, what do I need? Thinned veil card is the card that I have attached to this world right now. Um, it's. Sucks the durability, not the durability, the longevity, I guess, durability, longevity, whatever, of your weapons. So you're going to be repairing them a lot more than you normally would. But you have zero fall damage and you have a gliding ability because it's like moon gravity. Um, so I, I took the pros with the cons because this traversing with this card is ten times easier. Like... I thought it was a pain in the ass before I put this card in to get to the first mini uh, mini boss battle because it took forever with this traversal with this thinned veil and the you know the pros for tra uh, traversing oh my god it took me like it, I was there in a second um, so I'm keeping that one attached to this one an astrolabe is the one that I need so I have this I have the dust. I can use... Okay, I didn't know I could use that. So now I know what... I'm glad I didn't get rid of that. And then I, I do have paper... I have paper somewhere. I know I have paper. There we go. I was about to say, because like I knew I had... I knew I had paper. So the Astrolabe card and that world is what we're where we're going to go to now. And because we have these cards, um, we were screwing around in the last video and we got those uh, the schematics for the portals. Which by the way, um, where is it? 
these things. Yeah, this. The Synchronous Lotus is ten times easier to frickin' find than I thought. Um, these, the only use you're going to ever have for them is if you need to build a portal, you need to build a crude remote real, uh, real mic uh, transmuter, which is basically what I use to put that thin veiled card onto this world. Um, instead of going through a dungeon and finding one, you could probably just craft one on a place and then it might make the difficulty for you a little bit easier to uh, start killing monsters. And then there's a fairy ring, which is basically a spawn point. Um, if you die instead of spawning back to wherever you were. So if I was in another world, I would probably spawn back to my house. Which means I have to spend X amount of time waiting for portals and servers to open. When I can just drop down a fairy wing. Um, which to be honest is probably what I'm going to start doing once we start hitting the, like, the more harder locations. Which is going to be a big convenience um, so we weren't supposed to, Astrolabe is level 30, Antiquarium, we already, we were already at the Antiquarium, correct? Were we not? That's the, the one where we meant AAO, if I remember correctly. So that is Antiquarium, yes. So Astrolabe, um, I don't know if I should make... If I should do forest and I, I, I truly do apologize because I hate the swamps but I really should go because I'm pretty sure I have I have a hunch that the swamps are going to be holding more of them a magical esque things not just the beasts but equipment but bro I uh, I, uh, I really don't want to <laughs> Like, no, nah, not even, not even, like, no, nope, not at all. And then the Utopia one is what where we found, uh, we found in our last location. We bought it from a merchant. So I want to see, um, I don't know if I should do forest or desert. She's in the desert, so I want to do desert plus... The last time I was in the desert, we had a lot more loot going on. Um, and then Astrolabe. See, this is what I mean about it. it. It takes forever to load through portals. Like I get it. It's it's open at or it's early access, so there's gonna be some some things to buff out, I guess. But still, like waiting forever and a half. Oh, Mary is going in the portal first, apparently. She's gonna get yeeted. But. I have gardens, this is my housing hut, which I, I have a schematic for a better bed, so I'm probably going to put it up there, and then probably just get rid of this and put something else right here. Um, okay, cool, so that one, even though that we opened this portal with us in our area, we don't have to worry about those creatures coming out and beating the absolute snot out of us. Sweet. So right now, the level of difficulty for this world, even though we used a level 30 Astrolabe card, um, the world, I would assume, that on the top is the level 13. So we still aren't going to be excessively murdered. The only problem is, is it looks like it's... Okay, so it is dropping us at their portal gate. Um, 
right next to some shade. What is that? Whoa, wait a second. Wait a goddamn minute. What are you? Yo! Alright, that's fucking cool. Alright, so obviously there's blimps. So there's going to be people here. Okay. Um, that looks like an oil rig. Um, let's actually check out the map. I'm sorry, but this is really freaking cool. And I, f I keep forgetting we need to uh, attack. We need to go to a the closest um, trial. And once we beat that trial, it gives us the map. So all map data is not automatic. I'm assuming these little blue spots right here, those are oases, so water. It's a fake tower here. There's a traitor. What is that? Is that us? No, that's one of those spiritual beasts. Uh, there's two traitors here. Um, our NBC does follow us. Uh, Victor Frankenstein. All right. So we do have a major storyline character NPC in this area, which is good. I'm glad that we did Desert. Um, so Victor Frankenstein is definitely somebody that we're going to want to talk to. Um, and I also want to talk to this traitor right here. I'm assuming that Fairy Tower is probably going to be the closest we can get to finding an area where we can grab some type of map data um, there's nothing in here that I can see I want to see what this is are they okay. um, if we get too hot we can't regen stamina um, is what I have found out so far so chilling in Okay, uh, Duelist, play this card to increase the damage you deal as well as the damage you receive. Dangerous Gambit is offered by this card the power to decimate your foes in exchange for greater weakness. One who is never struck, it goes, needs never fear. Um, and then Amphibious, play this card to increase your swimming speed. Okay, that's going to come in handy. And we also got some more potions as well. Um, that's the only thing that I found kind of a pain in the ass about this one is that if you're stuck what the fuck is that that's a big boy I want to know if they're hostile they're hostile to them no, they're not hostile to us No, you don't. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. So let me guess, we have to skin you. Um, just giving you a heads up. We don't have to worry about us doing some serious damage to ourselves because of the heat. It's just, uh, like I said, stamina regen is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I think I have enough meat right now to survive item is breaking repair all those that's because of the last that little mini portal or uh, mini dungeon that we went through kind of nuked all of my provisions and then we learned in the beginning of this game that this drops a bunch of stuff that'll be useful. I want to know if you are friendly or not. You are not friendly. You were a lot bigger than I thought you were going to be. You're a meal to me. 
My only thing is that Astrolabe, or Astrolabe is a higher level of difficulty card. So I want to know if once I start killing and doing missions, I want to know what kind of tea essence we're going to be getting. Um, just because I'm pretty sure we only get T2 in after Astrolabe, but I'm not 100% sure. We do need to put down some... I want to see if I can find... I have any more... No, I don't have sticks. And it's going to be hard to find sticks here. As I gather sticks. Just because I do need to... sticks. I do need to rest a little bit because I'm I, there's no point in me going here and then immediately going to the other portal world or our home world just because I forgot to grab a uh, uh, a sleeping roll. So there's plenty of sticks over here. Plenty of things that I need. They're over here. That just scared the shit out of me. I thought a bird was on above us. Started seeing feathers falling off. It looks like it was just leaves. Um, see this, this right here. We killed something here, did we not? Nope. Yep. It's just, it's just T1 essence. So we're going to chill out, take a short rest, and then we're going to officially start exploring. creature its death, but wonder you how such a beast was born. The influence of the lesser fae is ne'er seen more strongly than in the mortal lives they twist. Much like yourself, these curiosities found themselves enmeshed in magical workings they could not fathom. Released from some hapless ritual or another, they returned home to find they were no longer quite kin to the rest of their kind, changed irrevocably from what was. The question you must ask when next you hunt a fabled one is this. Are you putting this creature out of its misery, or destroying something singular? Before we go and talk to Mr. Frankenstein, there's a few things I want to show you first. Well, one, I need to tell you, deserts aren't as bad as everyone thinks they are, as long as you have an umbrella. You won't have that heat issue. Um, the only issue is um, you need to have a one-handed weapon. So a hammer or a um, carving knife. I mean, for the smaller enemies, I've just been wielding a, a uh, carving knife just because you kind of need that to get the meat anyways, so it kind of like makes it like one big swift motion. Um, another thing is, is like you've seen in that last, that last clip, uh, we, we were fighting a, a, a magically infused or an experimented on locust, uh, and the stuff that I'm getting fabled... Tier 1 mo Monarch Locust. Um, that's from the Automaton Knight that we've been messing around. We finally got... We found paint. So I'm assuming that has something to do with the, the pigmentation of clothing or weapons. We have another of the Synchronous Lotus. We did another Fairy Tower. Um, I put a treasure card on just so I can start... I spent a crap ton of essence aiding a local 
um, survivor in building new houses and they had a merchant right there so I literally just bought all the equipment and just build it real quick so I wasn't really worried get worried about my really really you're gonna step right in you're a new hire Pearl we need to get you a better weapon um but I, I needed to get back on the T the tier one essence I'm not really worried about just the regular essence I'll dump a shit ton of that if that means I can get more um, because I can they didn't patch the uh, the money glitch by the way so I'll be do I'll be doing that when I get back um, uh, tier one bug but the other thing is the fabled chipton um, they gave me meat and you didn't see it but puck came around and said something about fanciful meats from the summer fay and blah 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 but either way the haul that we got from here is actually really really good i mean what scratches that itch for me is that every one of these items has a subclass is that even though they're all roasted meat they come from different things and to me that type of a you know paying attention to de de detail like that it, it tickles my fancy it, it really makes me like I said it scratches that itch just right and it's the same thing with everything like ingots can be ingots but it's a different type of ingot um, I know these little stamps right here is because they didn't create a an icon or a design for it just yet um, which I, I hope they do find a way to patch that just because it's really hard to distinguish like this is T even though that there's a two on it uh, it's no that's the weight never mind um, by the way um, I'm an idiot the map was never uh, there's nothing wrong with the map it's because I'm in a freaking desert and there's no water around an island because you're in a desert so I apologize um, I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I mean, the magic in this one is good. I put one of these on my backpack. So I'm pretty sure if I turn to three, and I'm out of ammo too. I'm still at 41, even though I upgraded a few things. I, I am going back now to... I am going back now into the next world after we're done talking to Frankenstein I'm gonna upgrade this and I want to see if I can upgrade anything else even though I might upgrade weapons the weapons are are need to be upgraded like desperately um, my pickaxe needs to be upgraded that's the one thing that I need to do um, just because that's my main weapon um, it's really hard to move around with the gravity issues um, and be able to hit enemies because um, it came up with the unlock the provisioner card so that's our next spot um, that we're going to do um, we're gonna grab that card real quick I don't know who the boss is going to be but I'm really really glad that we're going to be doing that soon just because um, the provisioner world is where we start getting more upgrades so let's see what Victor Frankenstein has to say. I've come to this uh, field work in the autumn of life. Out here there are no laboratory doors that I can lock myself behind to avoid these persistent... Whoa, okay. Wow, alright. I'm... I just wanted to say hello. What are you deliberating? Heaven and Earth, the desire to learn both the outward substance of things and the inner spirit of their nature. I am attempting to ascertain a greater understanding of these pitiful, wonderful inventions of life which many classify as automatons. I do so to support oh, Nellie Bly with her endeavors. I'm going to find her. Only charlatans deal with automatons. Say the name as if I should know.
So he's probably going to have me obtain the oil. And obtain this oil without deactivating them entirely. Now, how the flying fuck am I supposed to do that? Glanced a little by glossing over the text available. My thoughts are being pulled into two directions, you see, which is not conductive to either of the dwelling means before me. You seem overwhelmed. Yawn openly. I sense a request. First, I must mention to be delivered my time in the realms. A robust study. So it seems we have to acquire all that stuff. I am going to acquire it, but I need to go back to my world to not only mass dump all of the stuff that I have in my inventory into my little treasury, and I need to get more ammo. I ran out of marbles, so that's going to be my next step.